Hello, we are going to be creating some dots today in honor of International Dot Day, which was this past Sunday. Um, the caveat to this or the challenge to this is using one color to draw everything on your dot. So we're going to be creating this really cool collaborative work of art that creates this rainbow made out of all of these different dots that all of our fellow students and classmates have made throughout the school. You're going to pick your favorite color. If your favorite color is orange, that's what you're going to use. If it's green, that's what you're going to use. I am going to use orange today because I grabbed two orange markers and prepped for this project with those two orange markers. And I am going to draw some waves, some water, because I really, really love water. I'm so glad that I'm back in Virginia, close to the ocean. So I'm going to draw some water. And I'm using orange, and you guys are probably like, that water's not orange. That's okay. Orange is my favorite color. Water is my favorite thing. I'm going to draw it orange because everything on my dot needs to be drawn with orange. So I'm going to start off using crayons. I really like using crayons to create my drawing lines. And then once I get my main lines in, I may go and use some colored pencils to draw some more lines, especially if I want to do some really small detail work. Um, this is a regular orange. I just finished using a red orange. The final step is going to be me using the markers. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume off so that you can sit and watch what I'm doing here with the crayons, the colored pencils, and the marker. Um, before you get going on your own dot. I just want you to kind of have some ideas of what you can do and how this might look, okay? All right, so I used some crayons. I used a little bit of oil, um, colored pencils. Now I'm gonna start with my markers. Now I'm sure some of you probably noticed, um, Miss Armstrong, you were using white and white is not orange. You are correct. I used white because white is kind of my secret hidden mystery color, but also it will lighten my orange to make it lighter shades when I um, mix it with the colors that I put down. Now I'm gonna use markers. I didn't color everything in completely because I'm gonna use the markers to add in the color for the background spaces. So I'm just gonna kinda of go in here with the broad side of the marker and I'm just gonna fill in the spaces that I did not fill in with my colored pencils or with my crayons. All right, and this is gonna make this really rich and it's just gonna pop because when you hand these in, these dots in, I'm gonna get them back and I'm gonna spray them with water. And the water is going to cause the marker to bleed and run. And it's gonna fill in all of the blank spaces that we left behind that we didn't color in with our crayons and our colored pencils. It's gonna be really cool. You guys will really like it. So I am doing that right now, and this doesn't take quite as much time. And again, use the broad side because you wanna make sure that this doesn't fill up too much of your time. Um, this is the last step that I like to do after I've gotten everything drawn in and all of the details put into my drawing that I want. So I only used orange and I used different shades of orange. This is a peach. Peach is what you get when you mix orange and white together. So that is an acceptable shade to use if orange is one of the colors you decide to use. The important thing to know, look at, see that little bit of white is showing up. Isn't that cool? Um, is to have fun with this, to enjoy it. It's okay if you are drawing flowers and every single one of your flowers is green or blue. Or if you're drawing mountains, 
and all of your mountains are yellow because yellow is the color you decided you wanted to use. You do not have to draw things that are the color that, that you don't have to make them the color they're supposed to be. Kind of like what I did here. This is the ocean. I made it orange because orange was my favorite color. Okay. Pretty simple, pretty fun. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. Take your time, but do not waste your time. Use your time wisely so that you get your dot finished so we can hang it on the wall.